Okay, not sure if I'm in the shot there or not, but I'll spin the camera around here to look at the desk in a minute. Having a little bit of technical difficulty tonight with the cameras here, which is not unusual for a live stream here. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I'm starting to remember why. But uh, hanging out down here at the workbench tonight, figured I'd uh, throw the camera on and do a little bit of a live stream here. We're going to be working on or not working on, but we're going to be taking a look at a uh, Mirage 2 meter HT amplifier that I got a while ago, and I haven't tried it out yet. I got it from a friend of mine. It's used, but it's in like new condition. He assured me that it worked, but and I'm sure that it does, but um, we'll check it out anyway and see what's what. I don't know if I'm going to end up keeping it or if I'm going to try and sell it or, or what, but I figure I ought to see if it works and how it works before I decide what to do with it. But Anyway, what I'm going to do here in a minute is I'm going to turn the camera back over to the desk and uh, we'll get started fooling around with it. I've got an HT, I've got a, a SWR watt meter and a dummy load and the amplifier itself ready to go. So let's get checked out and as you may be able to see I've got a laptop behind me to monitor the live stream. So let's see what we uh, get into here. Okay. So as you can see, this is the unit itself. It's a Mirage B34 2 meter VHF amplifier. And this thing should be able to take a standard 4 or 5 watt HT and bump it up to somewhere around 35 watts or thereabouts or so I'm told. So let's, uh, let's get it hooked up and see what we've got. So before, actually, before I get the amplifier hooked up, I think what I'm going to do is hook up the HT there and test it out and see what we're getting for power out of the HT before we hook up the amplifier. So we'll get this hooked up with a jumper wire. Now, people are going to probably laugh at me, but... Oh, I already had this hooked on the back. This is my dummy load right here. This is an old Radio Shack uh, dummy load. It's good for quick key downs up to 100 watts or so. We're only going to be putting 5 watts into it with the HT and then 35 or 40 with the amplifier. So we should be good. I've used that thing for years and it's done okay. So anyway, we'll get this HT hooked up. Now hopefully the batteries in this thing are charged. Otherwise, we're going to be aborting this early. So let's see what we got. So, for now, we'll leave the meter on the 5 watt scale. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm not able to see the camera in real time here at the moment. But I can see in the live stream monitor over here. So give me just a second to make sure that's in the shot. I think we're good to go. Hopefully the audio is okay. I don't know if everybody's hearing me or not, but anyway, let's get started. Okay, so I've got the HT on. Hopefully you guys can see that. And we'll key it up and see what we're getting. Well, wait a minute. Before I do that, let's check the power level. That's on high power, so we should get somewhere around 5. I'm going to assume it's less because the batteries are probably not fully charged, but let's check it out. Okay, so you can see it went up to, on the 5 watt scale down here, it went up to somewhere around 4. Actually about 3. I'm kind of looking at it at an angle so you guys can see it dead on. And uh, I guess it's somewhere between 3 and 4. There's a little bit of parallax error here. But anyway, let's now unhook the HT and bring over the amplifier and see what we get with that. I'm going to leave that on there. Put that over there for a minute. And let's bring the HT over. Now, I don't know, yeah, I guess you guys can see it. I've got a 12 amp power supply back there. 
Hopefully that's enough to run this. I don't know if it tells us any current ratings on this. I suppose I could have looked it up ahead of time, but hopefully that 12 amps should be enough. I don't think there's a manual in this box. And it doesn't tell us any current requirement here. But, uh, well, let's just see what we get. Okay, so I've got the wires just bare here, no connectors or anything. And I've got a pair of kind of old test leads. They're getting kind of ratty. Um, i got to replace these here pretty soon. But they ought to work tonight, hopefully. So, wow, well, actually, before I put the power on, I'm going to make sure that's turned off. And we'll do that. Let's make sure these are separated so nothing shorts out. Looks like there's shrink tubing over the wire here. I don't know if that's factory or the previous owner did that, but either way, it's there. <coughs> okay, so let's turn this on and see what we get. See if we get... Looks like there's a light. Well, that's a transmit light, and it looks like there's a light in the switch, so we should see something when we turn it on. And we're not seeing anything, but I have a feeling that's my ratty test leads back here. Oh boy. Yeah, I think it's. The, I really think it's the power supply, because I was having trouble with this before. Alright, let's check the voltage on the power supply. Let's see what we get. Maybe this amplifier is no good. Okay, so I'm going to disconnect it. Set it over here. Bring this over so you guys can see it. that on DC and it's only reading seven volts so something goofy's going on here oh yeah There's, something's loose back here oh wow that's really weird yeah this test lead is screwed up or something there we go. Well, we're getting all kinds of bounce here. Either that or the power supply is messed up. Let's bring this over here so we can see it. Yeah, if I wiggle this around, oh, look at that. When I pull on it, it goes to 13.8. Yeah, this, this end of this test lead is kind of messed up. Look at that. All right, so we got to fix that before we move any further, I guess. So let's do that. So I think what I'll do is I'll just cut that end off and we'll just use a bare wire for now. I have a feeling the problem is in the crimp there. Unless the wire is broken somewhere else inside, I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, that's double insulated or something. There we go. Yeah, this is a really old wire, so I'm not surprised it's messed up. Let's see if that works. I'll put that through. Make sure it's good and tight. I'll assume the negative side is okay. Put that back on. Although I suppose we could have just stripped that one too. Alright, let's check it. All right, now we have 13.8 volts. That's what we want. Okay, so let's get that back over there. And we'll try to 
this again. So I'm going to get the meter out of the way. Turn it off so the batteries don't die. And we'll hook the amplifier back up and see if it turns on this time. Okay, let's see what we get. And we have a red light. That's what we want. And I don't see any smoke coming out of it, so I guess we're probably safe to proceed here. So now let's hook it up to the meter and the dummy load and the HP. Okay, so what I'll do, <coughs> since we already have the meter hooked up to the dummy load and the short wire, I'll hook that to the amplifier. And we'll hook that up to the radio port. Now, we'll hook that up to the antenna port. <laughs> so that'll go to the antenna port since our dummy load is the antenna. And then we'll take this longer jumper that I have and we'll connect that between the radio port on the amplifier and the radio itself. Let's get that seated in there better. That doesn't want to thread on there good. Okay, there we go. Oops, nope. Okay, this is not squared up or something. Alright, that's better. So let's get that all back there. Bring this over here. Let's see, can you guys see all of that? I think you probably can. I think that's all in the shot. So let's turn the radio back on. And we'll turn, well, let's leave the amplifier off for the moment and just make sure everything's passing through to the meter and the dummy load. And you can see it looks like we're getting the three watts or whatever it is that's on there. I'll probably bring this closer if you guys can, can't really see it. Let's try this again. Okay, we've got about 3 watts, which is what I expected. So now what I'll do is, since this could be 35 watts, let's bump this up to 200. And let's check it out see if it works. Well, we got to turn it on first, I assume. And let's see what we get. Okay, well, it sounds like it's working. I heard the relay click. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that in this audio or not. But the relay is clicking, the transmit light came on, and we were getting some power out of it. So keep in mind we're looking at this scale now. And I don't know how visible this is in the camera now. But you can see that it's somewhere up around 40 watts or so, 35, 40. I guess that's, well... Again, I'm looking at the meter at an angle. Let me turn that other radio down in the background. I didn't realize that was up so loud. Let's see. Oh, Buzz is in the chat. How you doing there, Buzz? Uh, let's see. That dummy load, <laughs> if you were watching, that little thing is... Uh, it's, a, it's a nice little compact thing. You can take it with you and and uh, take it out in the field and you don't have to lug around this big thing and it works good for this sort of thing if you want room on your desk but you don't want to transmit into it with too much power or for too long because then you'll be in trouble but but it's worked good for me over the years but someday i got to get a proper dummy load so anyway it looks like this thing's working i don't know if there's really much else to it other than that we've either got the amplified power or not Actually, let's do another test. We've got the HT on high power, and without the amplifier, that's somewhere around 3 or 4 watts with whatever charge is in those batteries. But let's set the HT down to, I guess that's low power, and see what we get out of the amplifier on low power. 
and it looks like about 10 watts or so on low power. So let's get a little more accurate on that. Go down to 20. Yeah, on the 20 watt scale, it's somewhere right around 10 watts, right on low power. So that's good. I guess this thing is working. So, like I said, I got this from a friend of mine, um, and he told me it was working. I had no doubt that it wasn't, but always good to test stuff out. So now I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with this thing. I had thought about using it in my uh, sort of like a go kit with the HT type of a thing on my motorcycle so that when I was out riding around on the motorcycle I'd have this with me and then if I needed extra power to hit a repeater or something I'd have it you know over the five watts that's in the HT but uh, I don't know I don't know if I really need that I don't ride the motorcycle all that much these days so um, and when I do we've got the cell phone and all that and I stay pretty much in populated areas anyway so I don't know if I really need it for that and outside of that, I don't really use an HT that much, so I don't know, uh, I don't know. I think I may end up selling this thing. Uh, it seems like it's in pretty good condition, and as we saw here, it seems like it works. So I guess that's pretty much it. I can probably lap, wrap up the, uh, the live stream here. I'll take one more look in the chat, see if anybody's there. But uh, it looks like it's a pretty quiet night out here, so... I guess that's it. If you tuned in, thanks for...